Happy Mother's Day, Christian and Kaylin. I wanted to leave these messages with you because I don't get to see you. It's been almost three years now. We don't get to talk and I send gifts to your house. I send gifts to you guys for your birthday. I send gifts for Christmas. And I don't know if you ever get it because I don't get a response from your mom or your dad or anybody. Nothing, zip, zero, zilch. Not even grandma and grandpa. We love you, we care about you. We're always thinking about you. We're always believing in you and loving you and, and, and encouraging you from far. We're, we're here, we're always here. We've never gone anywhere. We love and respect your mom and your dad, whether they make the right choices or choices that we agree on or not. I'm always bridging the gap because that's what a human being does. You respect in differences and you find a common ground and you separate your own selfish desires and wants and you find some sort of peace in the differences. That's what human beings do. That's what you're gonna do when you get older and when you have your families and when you're working your jobs and you have your own kids. I want you guys to put each other first. Number one, put each other first, put God first, place two. You guys are gonna go through this world and it's gonna be really, really hard, very difficult, but if you have each other and you stick with each other, it's gonna be a lot more easier. Do not turn your back on one another because you're dating somebody or you're married to somebody and it twists up your mind and manipulate you so that you feel guilty because you don't put them first place. God is first place and then each other and then your marriage and that's it. Because if you don't have each other and you're against each other and now you are married to somebody that you think that's there, that's supposed to be there to support you and provide for you and take care of you, their timeline in the history of your life, of your existence is minuscule. You guys grow up together, you love each other, you protect one another, you look out for one another. Don't ever stop doing that just because you get older and you get married and other people manipulate you and make you feel guilty because you have a very, very strong relationship bond. That is so precious. The relationships and bonds that you have and cultivate is precious. It's the most precious thing in the world and a lot of people hate it. They hate it and they want to destroy that because they don't have that. Do not ever let anybody destroy the love and the connection that you have with each other. I don't talk to your mom for almost three years now. We are super tight before that. All, even with your dad was in the picture, super tight. And I saw the jealousy with him. I saw it. And with your other grandparents, with his parents. You could see it with the stupid little sly comments of acting like high school babies. Do not ever let anybody come in between each other. When you have your families, respect. Be a great leader for your families. Respect one another. Work really hard. Be very smart. Be capable in all realms. Work out. Do not be lazy. Do the job. When you know you have to do a job, do it. Don't sit on your ass lazy. Work and create and build and make something of yourself. Nobody's gonna hand anything to you. You have to earn everything. Everything you have to earn in this life. And if, if you wanna be at the top and have an easy life, you're gonna have to do very, very hard things, whether you feel like it or not. You both are professionals. I talk to you guys like professionals. I treat you guys like professionals. And I always treat you to your potential, not to your current situation. You guys are multi-millionaires, you're business leaders, you're loving, compassionate people. You love your family. You honor your family. You respect everybody. You don't litter. You don't talk down to anybody. You treat people with kindness and respect. And you're a good, morally sound human being. You stand up for injustice. That's why I shoot these videos. I think it's very unjust and I think it's very, very selfish that we are not allowed to talk or see you. Or, or yet even just get a, a response from your mom or your dad. It's very childish actually and it's not professional. We live in a world with conflict and people need to sort out their differences and separate their emotions and face challenges, face adversity. It's difficult, but you can't hide and you can't run away from it because you will forever be hiding and running away and your life will be extremely difficult. 
I'm always here for you guys. I love you guys so much. And I'm always going to be supporting you and cheering you on no matter what. I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.